Good morning everyone, here from Jamaica once again. Today we're in a place called Negril, which I think is considered to be like the best beach destination in Jamaica. And we're staying at a pretty nice place, so it's called Seascape Apartments, 75 US dollars a night. Nice and natural around here. Pretty quiet too, the main road is just out here but you can't really hear much of the traffic noise. So a really nice place to stay, you can chill out here in front if you want. And on the inside it's also pretty good, nice and spacious. So we've been able to do some work here on the table. And then we do have a kitchen. As you can see we've been putting that to use. We do some cooking sometimes on our travels. And then inside here it's just a fan room. But the AC is in here so if we leave the door open, yeah it gets cool in there also. So the bedroom's nice too. Really big bed, bit of a small TV there, we haven't really been using that. And then the last thing, just the bathroom, Carol's in there, getting ready. <laughs> So the great thing about where we're staying is that we're only like two minutes walking from the beach too. So we just crossed the main road and then we're already at the beach right here, the main beach. So there's loads of bars here. I think it's too early for the bars to be open. That one's got the music blasting but I don't think it's open right now. But later on it'll all be open. You'll see people here drinking. So this is the amazing beach right here. It's called Seven Mile Beach because it is seven miles long. So it's seven miles of absolute paradise. <laughs> yeah, I think this is the most beautiful beach in Jamaica. That's why it's so famous. Yeah, it seems like it. So we got some boat tours getting ready to head out. And this part here belongs to a, a hotel. So it's a private area. So we can't stay here. They have their own private swimming area. So I did mention that in the last video that a lot of the beach areas in Jamaica are private so it's kind of hard to know where you can go sometimes if you're not staying in the places like yesterday we came to sit here under the tree and then a security guy out of the resort said we couldn't stay around here even though the resort's closed it's not even open right now <laughs> so we had to find a public spot down there looks even nicer today yeah, because I think the sun is hitting like in the perfect way. Yeah, like head on. It, lo it looks amazing. Very, very beautiful. Yeah, I think when we came yesterday, the sun was like over here already. So we couldn't see the colors so nicely. The nice thing about this beach though, is that there's still lots of local establishments. So we ended up having a meal at this little beach bar, which was the first beach bar in Negril in the 1950s. Hello. So to eat there, I think we only paid like $20 for a meal with drinks. I know in some of the other touristy destinations, we've been eating pretty much the same thing and it's been around $40, $50. So that goes to show you, if you find a local place, it'll be much, much cheaper. Check it out, there's a, a stingray here. Pretty big one too. Didn't seem to be too bothered by me. Super close. So when we came here yesterday, there was an absolutely massive one here. Probably like four or five times the size of that one. But it's swimming around here too. Right, I'll leave it alone. <laughs> Not sure if that's one of the, the dangerous ones. So we were talking about how this place uh, reminds us of a place that we went in Cuba uh, about four or three years ago and uh, the place is called Varadero and the beach is quite similar because it's very clear and beautiful like this 
and it gets a very like a very long part of blue and then it only gets darker at the end yeah really far out really far out so it's a, a bit similar yeah and that beach in Baradero also went on for miles and miles with beach bars and stuff so yeah it is very similar to that you have to go really really far out until it seems to get deeper darker We're now going on a little walk, about 20 minutes, because we're going to do a boat tour that we arranged yesterday to an island. You can actually see the island over there. Probably can't see it on the, the GoPro though. Once again though, I'm just so surprised by how empty all the places are that we go to in Jamaica. We haven't really been anywhere that's super busy yet. I think July is the low season though. It's supposed to be the rainy hurricane season. But if you've been watching these videos, the weather's just been absolutely amazing every day. This beach is definitely our vibe though. I also like that they don't have the high story hotels. Because there's loads of hotels around here. But when you're on the beach, you can't tell. I think they're only like two floors high. So I think there's a hotel in there somewhere, hidden away. So everything looks nice and natural. And all the beach bars are made out of wood. So it's all like a natural appearance. Check out the boat name, one more red stripe. I'm gonna be having more than one soon. <laughs> so check this out for the coolest boat ever. Probably the coolest boat that we've ever done a boat tour on. One, two, love. <laughs> Certainly different. Like the mini bar. The mini reggae bar. Yeah, this place is cool. So I got the red stripe, obviously. What is that, rum? Yeah, rum punch. Nice. There should just be a bar that just stays on the beach like this. Yeah. Everyone would come around the water. The island now. Here it is back there. I guess we gotta finish these up first, right? I don't know if we can stick to the island. We could probably take it. I think anything goes here. <laughs> yeah, so there's obviously other boat tours here. I guess each one has their own little place. Our spot's over here. just heading to another area of the island or the key said it's a key which is like a small island right which has a better beach apparently that one doesn't have much space because of the the boats and everyone eating it's got a little trail here while they're preparing the food so I forgot to mention but it's 30,000 overall so 15,000 Jamaican dollars each and it does include food 
and all the alcohol too well the beer and the rum punch like an all-inclusive boat tour so i think this is the the beach mini beach i asked the guy what the name is he said mjb beach which stands for making jamaican babies beach <laughs> I've got a feeling that's not the official name. And also the name of the island is Booby Key. <laughs> Which I also think is not the, the official the name. The official name, yeah. They you, like to give funny names for the, for the places. Yeah, I think you said like, because the uh, women go topless here, they call it Booby Key. food we actually ordered this um, in a like a chat right with them yeah, we they ask you yeah we wrote what we wanted so i wanted fish and you wanted chicken <laughs> yeah i got the chicken got the jerk sauce if you want to put that on it I might put that on got some toast too and some veggies yeah i don't think you can go wrong here in jamaica everywhere we've eaten it's delicious that was like the little spicy hint that they have to everything too very tasty Back on the mainland now, Seven Mile Beach. And check out Margaritaville now. So many people here. It was completely empty when we came in the morning. Wasn't even that early either. Now it's absolutely packed. So now we're walking back to our hotel and we're gonna see if we're going today or tomorrow to the other place that we're going next, which is also a bar. Rick's, right? Rick's, yeah. So we'll see if we can sober up enough today to go today or not <laughs> yeah we ended up drinking more than expected i think i had about seven beers in just a few hours so the drinks were definitely flowing definitely a good tour to do if you want to keep drinking cafe now some pretty loud music going on here it is for free to come here so this is one of the main reasons that people come here to jump off the cliffs into the extremely beautiful colored water it's also a bar and restaurant here that's why there's the loud music You gonna jump? I don't think Whoa. so. Yeah, you can jump from here. People yeah, are jumping from there. From there is fine, but from there is too high. <laughs> too high. Yeah, it's not so bad. Maybe I'll do it. Enough. 
This guy's gonna do a backflip, I think. I think this will be more impressive than Carol's jump. There we go. Repeat, Carol. So this Rick's Cafe place also has a swimming pool at the top, which I guess you can access for free too. 1974 it says up there. Got a good viewpoint from up here. Back. Yeah, I think the majority of the boat tours come here. Yeah, I think it's the, one of the most famous places you go in Negril, and that's why everybody's here. Yeah. So we're back on the seven mile beach once again. So we come back here for the sunset cause Negril is supposed to be one of the best places in Jamaica for the sunsets since we're on the west coast. We came here yesterday for the sunset but it was pretty cloudy. So we couldn't even see the sun at all. It's also cloudy right now, but yeah, it could be a good one. There are some openings. So I think we got a good spot here. I don't think we'll be kicked out. Seems like some Abandoned old resort Definitely been closed for a long time Man even at this time it's still roasting hot Yeah, it is and there is still some boats uh, like a fighting boat Still going on. Yeah, could be like a sunset tour as well. I'm not sure. Yeah one right here You can do sunset boat tours around here. I think even the one that we did goes yeah. out at the sunset yeah, so this is a very good place if you want to party, but also if you want to relax, you can have both. Yeah, there's definitely lots of relaxed areas on this beach. 